What is up guys, this is 3 Gamer, and I just wanted to say one thing. I am worried for Mass Effect Andromeda. Now, the reason why I say that is for actually a few reasons. So, Mass Effect, let me, let, me, let me get this out of the way first. Mass Effect is one of my favorite game series of all time. At first, I bashed on it, I didn't like it, I saw the trailers, I thought it was trash, you know. It wasn't something that I wanted to get into, but I had a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, he introduced me to Mass Effect. He let me play the second Mass Effect. Mass Effect 2 was my first Mass Effect. After beating Mass Effect 2, I fell in love with it. You know what? I really do like this game, I was wrong. I love this game. This is gonna be one of my top favorite games of all time. You know what? I'm gonna go play Mass Effect 1. I went to go play Mass Effect 1. I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. I said this is this is a great way to start off. You know? I enjoyed Mass Effect 1. I loved Mass Effect 2. In my opinion, Mass Effect 3 was great. If you guys I agree with everybody on the ending. If you guys delete the ending, like, okay, here's Mass Effect 3, cut off the ending. Replace it with anything else. Mass Effect 3, I would say 8 out of 10. Without the ending, you know. A lot of people hated on the ending, I understand why. But I, I, I loved the game in general. If the ending didn't exist, I loved it. So, that's why I am so worried for Max Effect Andromeda. Here's the other reason. Here, well, here's the first reason why I'm worried for it. Actually, the second one. I think the fr I think I just got the first one out of the way. It's such a great franchise or series that you know I'm afraid of it messing up. Okay, I'm gonna count that as number one. Number two. There, for the past few years, you guys have noticed a pattern. I'm sure I'm not the only one. You guys have noticed a pattern with AAA titles or just not even AAA titles, games that we have been really, really hyped for, just absolutely not meet our expectations. Either they're missing content when they release so many issues at launch or bad storytelling I would say I think that's the best way to say the third one poor storytelling you know not an engaging story so much missing uh, for the game that just was not done or they're selling you as DLC or here's microtransactions or this and that you know stuff that you would have to pay for after you've already paid for the base game and then the third one would be you know uh, it's bad storytelling, uh, you know, paid DLC, here's the extra part that we cut out of the game. Or just unfinished in general, you know, they didn't have enough time. And I think a lot of those games that we're getting nowadays have to do with, you know, with the Xbox One and the PS4, they require a lot more money and a lot more time to finish. And, you know, we just want and want and want and want. And I'm actually, I'm actually part of that, you know, I want and want and want, I want this game to come out. And a lot of the times they don't meet their deadlines, so they come out with poor storytelling. So that's AAA titles in general, or games that we're hyped for. You know, they, they have been huge disappointments. Uh, I'm gonna use Destiny as an example. Uh, it's doing really well now, but when it came out, it was just not finished. Poor storytelling. Now, if they would have waited to release it about a year later, it, it would have been pretty good. So yeah, it was so it was missing so much, and there were poor storytellings. The trailer had cutscenes that didn't make it into the base game that they cut out and I guess uh, the expansion packs I think were released pretty early into the release of Destiny. The Division is another one. I, I personally played The Division like a lot. Uh, I felt that it had um, poor storytelling um, a lot. <laughs> yeah, actually the whole thing was just bad storytelling. I didn't feel engaged whatsoever. Um, I think that was the main problem with uh, The Division. So, okay, you know, Mass Effect has three titles and I think like one or two mobile games that can back it up, you know, they've all been great. You know, Mass Effect is set. And then I started thinking, Halo took a beating when it came to Halo 5. Uh, Halo 1, 2, and 3 were pretty good. I really enjoyed those games. Halo Reach was my, it's my favorite. ODST was eh. Halo 4 it took a beating, you know, uh, it wasn't as good as the previous Halos, but it was it was it was decent and it was acceptable. Halo 5 took a major beating, you know, they were they took out four play, I mean, they took out split screen and still no elites and uh, we got the majority of the story was a character that we didn't even want in the game or we didn't really care about or know too much about. We wanted Halo for Chief and we ended up getting like three missions with Chief and you know, uh, a lot of people hated on Halo for that, Halo 5 in general. 
And then I also started looking at the upcoming Gears of War 4. Gears of War 1, 2, and 3, I absolutely love Gears of War. And Gears of War 1, 2, and 3 were great. Again, Judgment was acceptable in my opinion. And Gears of War 4 looks amazing and I'm really hyped for it. And one of the things that it is bothering Gears 4 is the fact that they, they announced this thing where they're going to rotate maps in and out. So here's like 10 maps at launch. Uh, a month or two later we're going to take out one of those maps and we're going to add a different one so you guys can play on that new one. So if you guys, if, if you guys like a certain map in Gears 4 and it gets rotated out you're going to have to pay to rent it. If you want to host private servers on that uh, on that map, you're gonna have to rent it out, and you and your friends can play on it. So it's taking a beating from that, but everything else looks fine. Uh, what else? So I'm gonna use those two as an example. Basically, um, these are titles that they have something to fall back on. That even if they did have something to fall back on, like the previous Halos and the previous Gears, they they still took a beating recently with Halo 5 and Gears of War 4 uh, you know it's doing decently well and I'm still pretty excited for it so now I'm kinda worried that Mass Effect might go down that line uh, so Destiny and The Division those were games that they were standalones there was no prequels to Destiny or to The Division they were standalones first titles of possible uh, continuations of maybe what would become a series or a franchise eventually but as of now, they were just standalone titles. So if they didn't meet an expectation, well, an Evolve is another one. If they didn't meet expectations, then that was the game in general. There was nothing that built your hype up from previous Division games or previous Destiny games that would make you feel like this, this could have been a lot better. If the game did bad, it's because it was bad from the start. Unlike Mass Effect or I mean, let's use Halo. Let's go back to Halo for an example. Halo has so many games in its past that just have been great and amazing AAA titles. And Halo 5 took a beating and it's kind of embarrassing because you know they, they have such a great history with gamers, Xbox gamers that are like, what happened guys? You know, I know they switched companies but I think Halo 4 it was still in a way, the storytelling was better in Halo 4 than it was in Halo 5. Halo 5 was a bit short and they did offer free DLC for a whole year which I don't understand why they couldn't just delay it and give us everything for free, you know, have a bit of memories of Reach when it came out, have everything when it came out. Just delay it a bit longer maybe, and I, uh, it's, I guess it's fine because it's free DLC, but back to what I was talking about, these, these are Gears and Halo, they're, they're games that they have something to fall back on on the past, and I, I, I'm really just hoping that Mass Effect isn't one of those games because I don't want to see Mass Effect unfinished which they re delayed recently, I think it's coming out 2017 now so I'm kinda happy about that, it sucks that I have to wait even longer to play it but I'm kinda happy because it gives them more time to uh... to finish it, you know, they're not gonna rush it out the door and you know, like here's Mass Effect that you guys wanted, it's out so that that's it, we're done no, they, they actually <laughs> They actually were man enough to actually tell us, hey, we're sorry guys, we're going to try to make it better. We're going to delay it till uh, 2017. I just don't want Mass Effect to be one of those games that, like Halo and Gears where it comes out and it doesn't meet our expectations. And maybe the storytelling is poor or maybe it's unfinished or here's like some day one DLC or a season pass for more expansions that will expand your story from the base game. Because, like I said, Mass Effect does have some great, great titles in the past, excluding the Mass Effect 3 ending, but it has so many... I, I just don't want to see this series, uh, this franchise, for, uh, just crumble because uh, it's been happening in the previous games, you know. Uh, I, I, wanna, I want Mass Effect to stay Mass Effect and still succeed. I always want Mass Effect to be better than the last. Uh, and I don't, I don't want it to fall into the same shoes that Halo did or Destiny or The Division or other titles the uh, evolve that just didn't uh, meet our expectations because then I, I my expectations for games in the future are gonna go even lower and that's just what I don't want so maybe you guys understand what I'm saying uh, hopefully I explained it as best as I could I was thinking about this in my mind you know trying to see how I could explain it the best and make it understandable for you guys so hopefully I did explain myself very well but I want to know what you guys think 
Uh, so far, we've heard nothing but good things about Mass Effect on what they've shown or what has been leaked, a few screenshots here and there, what they've said that the game is going to look like or feel like. So, I've heard nothing but good things so far, but then again, we've heard about a, good, a lot of good stuff about Destiny and everything else. So, uh, I mean, The Division. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and please, guys, leave a comment in the comment section if you guys are worried as well or if you have absolute trust in in Mass Effect that it's gonna do just as great as the previous ones or decently good or if you just uh, or if you're afraid of it let me know I want to know what you guys think I want to know if I'm the only one that thinks this way about uh, the future of gaming let me know what you guys think in the comment section as always remember to like favorite comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield see ya I let you in